welcome back it's Nicole and last week I showed you guys my Oncidium and Fowl collection and today I want to show you my Dendrobium collection so I find these orchids very easy to grow um, especially the Dendrobium phalaenopsis type which I have a bunch of so I'm going to show you what I've got and talk through a little bit of um, how I take care of them so the first one I've got here is the Dendrobium Popeye. So this orchid is pretty compact. It's got a tremendous root system. Um, I repotted it about two months ago. The roots were insane um, when I took it out of the pot. It was just so crazy. Um, but this one is a compact one. It won't get too big on me. Um, and it should be blooming really soon. I'll put a picture for you guys up so you can see it, but this one is the Dendrobium Popeye. And you can see all of the new growths coming up. It's still in growth mode. I've got a new cane that is growing right here. So you can see that one is coming up, so it should be growing upwards and then give me a flower spike from there. So that is the Dendrobium Popeye. Next, this one is the Dendrobium Pink Natasha. So the leaves on this one are a little bit purplish and it's got nice pink flowers. Um, it should be ready to bloom soon. This is a mature plant that's already bloomed before. Um, and it's got like two keikis growing. So here's one. You can sort of see it growing from there. And then there was another one that I saw growing somewhere else, but this one's got a pretty extensive root system as well. You can see that it's, it's growing, and I just watered it so it's a little wet. But um, this is the Dendrobium Pink Natasha. Next, we've got one that's pretty tall. I'm currently growing this one under lights but it's I, I don't know if the lights are getting all the way down to the bottom this is all the way at the top and it's reaching but I may have to move this to the window and this one is the dendrobium Spanish eyes this one also has a nice root system um, well it's wet because of I just watered it but this is the Dendrobium Spanish Eyes. This is the newest cane. As you can see, it's pretty fresh. So it's still growing, and hopefully this one will give me a spike. Um, I actually just straightened the canes out a little bit by putting a uh, stake here because it was sort of like knocking into my other plants. You can see it's pretty tall, this one. So those three were Dendrobium phalaenopsis, so they will, they always grow, they don't stop growing. Um, I've got three on this table that are a little bit different that take a dormancy period, and we'll dig into these in a bit. But the fourth one I'd like to show you guys is another Dendrobium. This one is really tall as well. This one is the, it's a cross. So it's the Dendrobium Burana Stripe, Bur with Burana Pearl Lakeview. And I haven't seen this bloom yet, but it's got a little, um, a little growth happening here. Hopefully that is the spike coming. I'm not sure if it's that or if it's just done maturing, but I'll keep you posted. Um, recently it's developed these little spots, which I'm a little bit concerned about, and I'm gonna spray it down with hydrogen peroxide and a little bit of cinnamon. Um, so it's got a spot there, and I noticed a spot here. So I'm keeping a close eye on it. Hopefully it's nothing terrible for the orchid, but I'll keep a close eye. And thankfully it's at the very top, so I'll cut the leaves off if I need to. Um, I just don't want it to be a fungal in infection that spreads into the cane. So I'll keep an eye on that one. And again, this is a tall one too, so I have it in my grow light setup, but it reaches the lights pretty closely, and I don't know that the lights are making it down to the bottom leaves. So I may move it over to a window now that these canes are mature, and they should be blooming very soon. So that is the, the Dendrobium Burana Stripe with the Burana Pearl Lakeview cross. This one here is, actually, we'll go to this one. 
to keep with the theme of <laughs> dendrobium phalaenopsis. So this is the dendrobium buttercup. You guys have seen this before. It's been in bloom for two months now. It's really pretty. Um, the sepals are just gorgeous. And yeah, it's been in bloom for two months. It's been on my windowsills. Um, really nice, really easy to take care of. The canes are, they just grow, they're evergreen and then eventually it'll have new growths and then the spikes grow from the top and yeah two months blooming and no signs of stopping i love a an orchid that has long lasting flowers no scent to this one but it's just very pretty so this is the dendrobium buttercup so switching gears a bit this one is the dendrobium anosmum white and this one is a little baby, so it'll take time for it to grow. But this one is a, an orchid that requires a winter rest. It eventually sheds its leaves, and the flowers come from ac the actual um, canes, unlike the phalaenopsis, which comes from the top, dendrobium phalaenopsis, that is. So this one, I staked it, so it's growing a little funny. It's a little flexible, but I've seen photos of this. I've, I've, this is new for me, so I've never had one of these bloom, but it's been growing nicely. In the photos that I've seen, they have them growing pendant, so the spike actually goes down. So I may put it in a basket or something eventually and hang it so that it can look natural as it grows its canes. So that is the Dendrobium anosmum. And I've got a second Dendrobium anosmum right here. This one's slightly different. This one is the Dendrobium anosmum Little Sweet Scent. The other one is white. Um, and this one is similar, except it's a little bit more mature. Probably won't bloom for a year or so. But um, it's got some cakeys. So it's got, it's got a little baby growing and then it's got a cakey coming in right here from a small growth. You can see it there. So, oh, actually another cakey. So you, there's two, one and then two. And this, it's growing from a pretty small growth. So we'll see, this one's growing much straighter, but eventually they get long and they hang. So we'll see what I do once it gets bigger. I'll probably put it in a basket and let them both hang. But that is the Dendrobium Anosmum Little Sweet Scent. So here are my last two Dendrobiums. Uh, this one is another Dendrobium Phalaenopsis. So this one grows continuously through the year. And then it has a flower spike that comes up from the top. And this one is a Dendrobium Manin Urewan. Um, and this one I haven't seen bloom yet either but it's got a new growth that is coming up right over here. And it, it put out a bunch of new roots. Um, so it's doing well. The main cane that it came with is this one. It's getting a little shriveled, even though I water it pretty regularly, but I'll keep an eye out. The new growth is pretty healthy. The cane looks good. It's got a little bit of damage from when it shipped. And this, this was very small. It was like probably that sized when I first got it, but it's getting taller. So we'll see how this one does. Um, but yeah, that's my other Phalaenopsis orchid. Um, and then the last one I've got is a Dendrobium nobili. I don't have the ID for this one, but this is an orchid that, similar to the Anosmum, sheds its leaves. So it already, it's, it's August, and this one already started shedding leaves, which means it's headed towards a winter dormancy. Um, I also started noticing little, little nubs. Let me show you. Can you see right there? So these look like, zooming out, they, you, you can see these little nubs here um, coming out of the actual growth, rather the canes. So that's supposed to be um, new buds and it's kind of early. Um, so usually the growth pattern with this orchid is that it grows canes, grows new canes like this one. This one's a new growth. You can see it's much has cleaner cane than this one. 
The new cane keeps its leaves, but the older ones sheds their leaves. Now, um, eventually, when it starts shedding its leaves, you're supposed to stop fertilizing and start cutting back on the water and keep it relatively cool. And then eventually that's supposed to help the orchid grow um, these little flowers. Now I hear that if you keep watering and you keep it warm, instead of flowers, you're gonna get cakeys, which are little babies that come out just like some of the orchids I just showed you. So I'd rather have blooms than cakeys. So we'll see how it goes. I'm still watering it because I still notice that there's new roots coming through. So I just stopped fertilizing for now, given that the leaves are coming off and I'm seeing these little buds forming, which is a sign that it's getting ready to flower. But this is the first year I have this orchid. It has not bloomed for me yet. I saw some more little, little nubs, little nubbins right over here. Hang on. You can see them there. So hopefully there's our little flower flowers that'll come out. And I'll, I don't have the ID for this. This just said Dendrobium nobili. So hopefully in a couple of months we'll see it in flower. And I'll, we'll see if these leaves keep falling. Or about three leaves fell already. Um, when it loses its leaves, it's doing just fine. As you can see, these are the older canes. They don't have the actual leaves. It's just going through a winter rest. So the difference between the, the Dendrobium phalaenopsis and the Dendrobium nobili and anosmum, these take a winter rest and these don't need any rest. So in other words, you continue to fertilize it, you continue to water it and it, it'll continue growing. These need a winter rest in order to grow if you keep watering them, if you keep them um, with Dendrobium phalaenopsis conditions, they will grow vegetatively but may not bloom and may just Give you little cakeys. So with that said, these are my dendrobiums. I've showed you guys my oncidiums, my phalaenopsis, and now all of my dendrobiums. I've got some other species that I will show you guys next time, including my collection of cattleyas. I've got over 20 of them. Most of them are fragrant, which I love. They're some of my favorites. But yeah, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!